What is up, everybody? Welcome back to Tekken 6 Scenario Campaign. Still doing the, uh, still doing the Tekken story. Um, we're gonna do North Nature Park. Hop right into it. I feel like this is all probably gonna circle back up. So, seems like the smartest thing to do. I hope everyone's enjoying this pretty fun kuma why are we looking for a bear the bear in question was once a candidate to head the machine zabatsu a bear running the zabatsu who comes up with this stuff hey look we gotta fight little bears this is fucking hilarious i forgot we actually had to fight many kumas Well, we might have to fight big kumas now. Give me this stick. <laughs> oh, this makes it a lot easier. <laughs> Damn you. I want my fucking pole back. Is that so much dancing? Did I just see a dancing bear? No! Come on, I'm just wasting time. There it is. This makes it so much easier to fight them. And there's the big daddy of them all. Do you really understand what I'm saying? Of course. <laughs> okay, if you know something, anything about Jin Kazama, I would appreciate you sharing it with us. You'll have to earn that information. You asshole. Come on. That actually went really well. Thank God they gave us a pole the whole time because that made it like 10 times easier. Hell yeah, big money. Of course she gets brand new stuff as soon as I deck her out. I, I gave her some new stuff if you didn't notice. I gave her some stuff, though, that increased the uh, item drop. 
encountered a, encountered an anomaly in nature, a bear capable of communication with humans. I once read of a talking wolf in a fairy tale, but now there is evidence that the story may hold factual information. I will have to investigate the matter further if I happen across a wolf. Well, let's hope we don't fucking see a wolf. How about that? All right, not bad. That was Kuma at the nature park. Let's go to Aranami Stable. Scenario campaign's going a little bit quicker than I anticipated it would. Now we're off to some sumo chow peddler. Correction, he is a formidable threat who was discharged from the sumo world. We must proceed with caution. Sounds like he has his reasons. Alright, let's just be careful. Alright, so it looks like we're going to be... Uh, Looks like it's going to be Ganryu. I'm assuming that's who it is. Yeah, there he is. <laughs> it's like... It's like, do we even attempt to do much damage because... I'm assuming he's just gonna run away. Every time every time these guys come out in the middle like this, they always run away. Yep, there he went. Get him down below 50%, I think, is what happens. Damn it, I should let her have that. No clue for his items, but <laughs> it does me no good to try to pick up anything. Should let her have that. come a long way we finally caught you I'm impressed a big guy like you managed to run so far <clears throat> in the entire history of sumo only 69 masters have risen to the rank of Yokozuna I will not demonstrate what it takes to get there yeah I have a bad feeling about this one <laughs> we're not doing too hot fucking grabs you never get them on the wall though you can just about beat them every time 
What's the health look like? Ah, eh, not terrible. Wasn't as high as I would have liked it. I think I would beat him on the first try, though. Restores health meter by three for a limited amount of time. Increase, increases attack by 44. I met a Japanese wrestler for the first time today. He claimed he had reached the level of grand champion, but I found no matching data during my search. Fabrications are futile. I love how they throw like little Easter eggs about the characters we're fighting story into here. Like he always claimed he was like the grand champion sumo wrestler, but he actually wasn't. Ganryu. Yep. Okay. See, it all circled up around, so we're we're here now. Uh, secret underground passage. Yeah, we'll we'll go ahead and do that. Uh, let me throw some items on us real quick, though. We got some decent stuff there. I can't believe I ever managed to make it through here without items. Because those sumo wrestlers, they weren't one-hit kills, a lot of them. I don't think... Well, yeah, I had a little bit of extra stuff. Increases defense and reduces damage from opponent's attacks by two. Increases attack during rage. 27% during rage. Oh, fuck. Probably this, because... We probably need better defense. I don't know. Maybe we did. Maybe that was a bad choice. We'll find out, I guess. Restores health meter by three for a limited amount of time. Twenty-six nullifying opponents. Elemental attacks. They literally cost the same. Uh, let's let's just try this one. I mean, we've, we've been having pretty good luck with that one, so I don't know. Maybe I'm, I'm I could be making some really bad choices here. Currently, we are on increases attack by forty-one, increases attack by thirty during rage. Is there anything else here? Increases health meter by 48, health meter by 34. I mean, those are good, but I really need something. Yeah, I need the attack increase. So we'll just probably keep that. Okay. And at least they got some really good stuff here. Currently, we are on this. Increases health meter by 117. Uh, yeah, absolutely. What else? We're currently on increases health meter by 30. Increases attack by 31, increases attack by... Actually, you know what? She probably needs better attack, too. So we'll just go ahead and give her that. Yeah. Increases attack by 40%. And then her feet. We currently have increases attack by 31. Increases attack by 44. So everything was literally better that we just gave Elisa. Well, obviously we want it on. Why would we not want it on? Two or more items with the same attribute cannot be equipped at once. Well, hold on. What else is equipped? Yeah, I want that on. Increases item drop rate by 27. Okay, well, then we'll just... We'll just put this on then. And turn that on. That's so weird. Increase the type of 44, so we need to put something else on here. I mean, I kind of get what it's doing here, but it's kind of lame at the same time. So we'll just have to put something else on to kind of offset. I wish I'd known this. I would have been doing all this off camera.
So literally nothing is going to matter down here. She doesn't have anything. So, okay, so as long as this other stuff is on, it's, where's her? Yeah, increases health meter by 117. Okay, so I should probably, God, I hate that we're doing this right now, but I'm wasting a lot of time. Yeah, I need the 127 one, so we probably just need to, uh... I'll put these back on. Here's the helmet over 127. So the only thing are the glasses. Only five attributes can be equipped at once. Okay, good lord, man. They, I didn't know any of this, obviously. Um, okay, fuck it. I think we got good ones right now anyways. Sorry I wasted so much time. I'm actually going to go ahead and do this other level real quick. I wasted like fucking four or five minutes in there doing that. Secret Underground Passage. If you if you could tell, I I'm not very familiar with how the items work, evidently. <laughs> Who would have guessed there'd be a pathway like this down here? Warning, hidden surveillance systems are in position throughout the vicinity. Not exactly my normal, a normal office building now, is it? No. But... Of course. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Not exactly familiar with the uh, item system. I didn't use it at all hardly back in the day because I don't guess I guess I was just ignorant to the fact that I could that they actually helped me. Here we go. Get a brand new one. Okay, this is badass. Well, it was. We have to run back here real quick because I've seen. Yeah, right there. Come on, Elisa. Grab that. Be nice if you could grab that too.
Shit, come on, man. Yeah, get that money, Elisa. Gotta be about done, right? Every time a son bitch dies, he drops another one. <laughs> no! <laughs> well, I mean, I'm not gonna lie, this is like really handy, but. Say if this other one's here, this is get a full one. <laughs> I'm wasting a lot of time doing that, but hey, I gotta watch out with those crates. Let's drop another one. I honestly thought they would stop dropping. <laughs> oh, it's Raven. You made it this far. I'm impressed. Where'd you come from? Warning, the target utilizes optical camouflage technology. Proceed with caution. No, well, we had a flamethrower and that made that ten times easier, I think. <laughs> They don't matter right now. Sorry, I wasted too much time on them earlier. I thought I was banking that. While tracking and locating several surveillance cameras in the vicinity, we encountered an agent utilizing optical camouflage. He was part of an international secret service and has come to aid us in our mission. He informed us of the current whereabouts of the former Mishima Zabatsu head, Heihachi Mishima. The words Heihachi Mishima increased the largest heart rate and perspiration by 20%, denoting a clear connection between the two. Optical camouflage. So Raven's helping us? Is that what I heard? Alright, that'll be it for this one. Next episode looks like we're going to the Mishima Estate. Hell yeah, thank you so much for watching.